Hello and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to talk about an algorithm to find the number of triangles in an undirected graph. So first of all, let's talk about the question. In the question, you will be given an undirected graph <laughs> as it is obvious and all you have to do is find the number of triangles consisting of three nodes which are present in that undirected graph. Okay? So like over here in this in this example, there are two triangles of uh, uh, w w containing three nodes which are present. Okay, so even though we have the outer triangle, it is not it is it is not included in the calculation as it has four different nodes in it. Okay, so now let's see how do we calculate this. Now the beauty of the algorithm which has been used over here is that it can be extended like if I have to calculate the number of square, uh, squares not if I have to calculate the number of uh, quadrilaterals or the number of pentagons in an undirected graph I can easily calculate it by just a small change in the code. So uh, now let's see how do we calculate it. So uh, for before I show the calculations, uh, this is a very important result which you should remember. If we compute a n for an adjacency matrix representation of a graph, then a value a n i j represents number of distinct uh, a, uh, walks between vertex i to j of length n. It, here it's not really written. So uh, now that means that uh, if I have to calculate the number of paths of length n from any from any uh, node i to any node j, all I have to do is uh, calculate a. Uh, I have to multiply a n times and then uh, and then the value of a n i j is the number of uh, number of paths from i to j of length n. Okay, so if I have to use this uh, result for to calculate the number of triangles, so all I have to do is calculate the number of paths of length 3 from a node to itself because a triangle is simply uh, uh, connecting a node to itself uh, with a path length of 3. So uh, what I will do is, uh, so the algorithm is, I uh, so here uh, I have to do, I have to uh, add the trace of a graph and divide it by 6. So uh, here I have to divide it by 6 because uh, uh, the same triangle will be uh, ca will be calculated 3 times for each of the 3 nodes and also uh, it will be calculated twice for each node because it's an undirected graph. In an undirected graph uh, because uh, over here it will calculate 0, 2, 1 and 0, 1, 2. But since both of them are the same triangle, so basically I have to add, uh, divide by 2 for the uh, specific node 0. But since the same triangle will also be calculated for node 2 and 1, so I have to divide it by 3. So it will be the trace, divide, trace of a to the power 3 divided by 2 for each node and divided by 3 for each uh, for uh, for each node of the triangle so let's see how it is implemented in the code in the code the, uh, the triangle in graph is what is actually calculating the number of triangles so i initialized aux2 to store graph raised to the power 2 and aux3 to store graph to the power 3 then I initialize both aux2 and aux3 to the value of 0 and then I used a multiply function. What the multiply function does is just uh, multiply one the uh, argument, the graph in argument 1 with uh, the graph in argument 2, the matrix in argument 1 with the matrix in argument 2 and gives the matrix in argument 3. So I multiplied graph with itself to give aux2 and then I multiplied graph with aux2 to give aux3 and then I calculated the trace of aux3 and divided it by 6 and that's the answer that this is a very simple code all I do is I calculate a to uh, a cube and then I find its trace and divide it by 6 and I get the answer so now let's see how do we do the dry run of this code so I go to int main and I initialize the graph so I've just uh, copied the graph right over here 
and then I print something like total number of triangles in the graph is and then I uh, call the function triangle in graph graph okay so uh, now let's see what triangle in a graph does so I then uh, initialize uh, two ox ox2 and ox3 and I initialize all of ox2 and ox3 to 0 so I'll just quickly uh, do it so over here I have initialized both ox2 and ox3 to 0 now I call the multiply function and multiply graph with itself and give its output into ox2 so as we see the uh, multiply function what it does is it simply uh, it simply just multiplies the graph so I'll quickly multiply the graph and put it in ox2 so this is my ox2 right over here so it comes out as 2112132112312112 so now after that I calculate ox3 by multiplying graph and ox2 so now I quickly calculate ox3 so this is ox3 also sorry for my bad handwriting all these uh, bad looking twos are actually uh, uh, ones are actually twos so actual output is 2552 5455 5545 2552 okay so this is my aux3 so now what I do I calculate trace by going into get trace function and calculating aux3 so trace of aux3 so what I do I just uh, add uh, initialize trace is 0 and keep on adding its graph i uh, graph i i that means it's diagonal so what I do is I add 2 4 4 and 2 so that sums out to 12 and I will return 12 so now my trace has the value 12 and now I will return 12 by 6 which is 2 so that means it will now print the total number of triangles in the graph is 2 which is actually right as we had already seen before so I have already explained how does this thing works now I will explain its time complexity so in this code all we are doing is multiplying a matrix with itself thrice and since uh, an n cross n matrix with itself thrice and since multiplying an n cross n matrix with another n cross n matrix takes time of n into n and since we are doing it three times so the time complexity will be n into n into n and since here n is equal to v so it will be v cube and the other time consuming step is calculating the trace but calculating the trace takes time only v time so the actual time complexity would be v cube plus v but since v is very small it can be neglected so its time complexity of the above algorithm is big O of v cube and also by using Stresen's matrix multiplication algorithm you can reduce the time performance to v raised to 2.08074 uh, now also you can uh, run this code on the ID on geeks for geeks website now I can show and I will show you how so here in geeks for geeks website you may go down and click on run on ID and uh, uh, since there is already an input uh, you may run it or you may add some input and click on run and you got the output which is total number of uh, triangles in the graph is 2 so that's all. Have a nice day.